Hey guys, we're at IBC 2019 and we're here on the Black Magic stand to take a closer look at the new video assist external recorders. Hey Chris, how's it going? Nice to see you again. <laughs> we're here to look at the Black Magic video assist. Yeah. So there's two versions announced at uh, IBC. So we have the 5 inch and the 7 inch. And uh, they largely look the same, however, yep. very different because, of course, these are HDR. Yep. So the screens themselves have a 2500 nit value. Very bright, it's incredible. Yeah, very yeah. bright, yes. Uh, the SDI inputs are 12 gig SDI, so 4K up to 60 frames. And of course, they now support Blackmagic Raw. So obviously, that uh, Blackmagic Raw story is continuing to grow. And uh, not only just for Blackmagic, but also for third party. Yep. As you can probably see, it's connected yeah. to an, a third party camera. Yeah. So here we have the, uh, the Canon C300 Mark II. Uh, we're taking the SDI out of that, plugging it in, and we're using a Blackmagic Raw workflow. Yep. And on the front of the booth, we have an EVA1, that's a Panasonic camera, and we can also now get Blackmagic Raw out of that camera using the, um, the video assist. Yeah. So, yeah, exciting times. In terms of the actual feature, sh uh, feature set, is it is it similar to what you had in the video assist 4K, or? It is largely the same, so um, obviously, in terms of recording, you have yeah. um, ProRes and DNX, and now we've added Blackmagic Raw. Yeah. Um, you still have the SD card slots for, for media, but underneath you'll see there's a USB-C slot, so you can record directly to um, flash drives. Oh, wow. And of course, the great thing about that is you can use the same drives for recording and for and editing. editing. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. That's great. And in terms of power, how, how do we power this? So you have a 12-volt um, input here. You can see this is lockable now. Yep. So uh, you know, much better, especially for these types of monitors. You don't want to be able, you don't want to pull that out and lose power. Yep. But on the back, we now take the Sony L series batteries. Okay. So again, longer life batteries, more options, and that's what we're about giving customers options. <laughs> and in terms of general runtime, of course, with it being a, a bigger and brighter screen, I'm assuming that it's slightly less runtime when compared to the older. Video yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, it's the, it's the batteries. So yeah. you, know, you get longer life batteries and the ability to, you know, we don't lock you into any type of battery. You can use any type of Bell series batteries. Yeah. And the great, the great thing about that is, you know, you have longer life batteries. So, uh, and it's hot swappable. So there's two slots on the back. So yeah. of course, as one runs out, you can replace another and continue recording. In terms about, in terms of the design, then, uh, is it made out of different material than what the Video Assist 4K was? No. Or it, no, they, they, they look, like I say, largely the same. Um, yeah. The edges are beveled, you know, they have a, a very sleek design, you know, they fit perfectly with the camera, yeah. and it, it does complement, uh, you know, the Blackmagic cameras perfectly, but as you can see here, it, it has a very nice design, and, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look good on set. Yeah, and when are these going to be available? So these are available in November. November, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.